As the army flew home the bodies of the 19 Americans killed when the massive truck bomb exploded, tearing apart residential buildings, military personnel who survived the attack gathered on the base to remember the victims. Even as they prayed, there was another bomb threat. The American reply, a chill warning that the bombers would be hunted down. Yesterday, we were ready to go. Today, we're still on alert. Next week, we'll be on alert. Whatever it takes, we're coming to get you. FBI agents are examining pieces of the truck used to bomb the military base. From the top of a building, the soldiers saw two bombers escape. As soon as they drove off, I, uh, I got on the radio and uh, told them to start making some notifications. And... Those who survived tried to relax, but they'll never forget the attack. It was almost like a firework explosion, and then, <clears throat> then slow motion glass just started coming toward me, and I just covered my head, and then they just picked me up and ran. Many of the wounded who were flown to Germany for treatment were hit by flying shards of glass suffering severe lacerations. I was just crawling around the ground thinking, well, I was in New Orleans, well, I think I was just going crazy, I was going, what New Orleans going on here, what's going on here. Investigators say they've already identified the getaway car as a white Chevrolet. The hunt for the bombers is already underway.